Hi, thank you so much for joining me this week. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that it has been a busy week for me. And so this week's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not gonna be adding in all the additional editing cuts and things like that. So you're going to get to see more of a raw footage in how I paint my palette wood piece today. Honestly, it's Thursday morning. I still have to create my creation for today and then put the video together and then post it for you for tonight. I am realizing it may be hard to keep up with a weekly posting schedule. I'm going to do my best, but life is so busy right now with kids back to school and with some family things going on. And so I still hope that you really enjoy this video, that you find it to be a lot of fun. If you enjoy what you see today, I would love to see you back when I post my next video. I'm still hoping for next Thursday, but otherwise keep following me on Facebook. You can also find uh, events and things like that that I'm doing locally. And I also have a website at iheartartstudios.com. Make sure to add the S to that so you can see everything. It might take you somewhere else if you don't add the S. Thank you again so much for watching and I will bring you a very fun and exciting video today that I hope that you'll enjoy our palette wood painting. All right, enjoy. I just wanted to show you, I do have a stash of palette wood that I keep in the back, kind of hidden in the backyard. That way you can't really see it. Actually, it's kind of hidden behind my raspberry bushes that are done for the season. But instead of having to take a palette and pull it apart when I want to create. I've actually pulled apart a lot of palettes already. So I'm going to take you into my garage where we'll pick out some wood and decide what we will be creating today. So this is where I keep my palette wood that I've already cut and I have a spot in the garage where I try and organize it by size. Usually when it gets to this point I've already trimmed the edges so that way I can really just kind of grab and go. I picked up this awesome cabinet at a rubbish sale this summer and my plan is to repurpose it or re repaint it and such. So that will be coming in a future video. So this is my wood that I will be grabbing for my project. One thing that I look at when I am building a sign or creating something for a project is basically that the widths are gonna match. Ah, let's turn some lights on. So right now, I'm basically just going to look through the wood that I have here and see if there's something that I can paint for you. I am gonna try and keep it pretty simple just because it's a matter of time today. It's already two o'clock in the afternoon and my day has gotten away from me and I still haven't gotten my project done. And my goal is to get this video posted tonight. <sighs> so I'm gonna pick out a piece of wood, maybe two, put them together, if, if you're not sure how I pull apart palettes, check out the video that I'll link up above. That is a video that I created. It was actually one of my first YouTube videos that I, or if you're also wondering how I put two pieces of wood together, I'll also link another video that I created on how to create a picture. Right now, my goal is to look for a couple pieces of wood that would go well, <laughs> A couple pieces of wood that would go well together. I'm gonna just take a look. This length of wood is going to be better for me so I don't have to trim it down at all. So I'm gonna be looking for wood that's similar in width. I do see that there are a couple pieces here, two pieces that look about the same. So the width of them is very similar. The color is a little bit different but if I put it together like this it might be all right. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. They're actually back here that you can't see. So here, I think there's a few pieces back here. I think these ones might work better. And that might happen too. <laughs> All right. These boards actually look like they came off of the same palette. I think they might look pretty cool together. So I found the wood that I'm gonna use, these three pieces right here, and I'm going to attach them in the, on the back and I'm just gonna go through this part kind of fast. Safety first. So 
there are a couple things about this I would not recommend. First of all, I am rushed and I did not put wood glue in here. I also did not pre-drill my holes, which I should have done. I also am my work surface. I need to get a workbench in here. But check out this table. It just is not a good table <laughs> to be using as a work surface. And which is why I use these. So you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm just gonna grab a piece. Oh, and I am noticing that the screws that I use are a little bit too long because they are poking <laughs> through. So everything about this is getting tossed out. And I'm going to use a board that I already have completed. So I have now grabbed a couple of my boards that I already have done. Unfortunately, this one I actually started painting on already, so I'm not going to do this one, even though the wood style is more rustic, like I like. Instead, I have this one, it is all ready to go. I already have the back on there. Whew, it's done correctly. And so I'm gonna use this board to do my project. So let's go back in the house and I'm gonna show you how I paint this palette wood. I have my piece of wood and I am ready for painting just about. I will be using a chip brush, one of my favorites. Love the chip. I also have a one inch flat brush that I'll be using along with, well, I just kind of grabbed a stash of brushes. So I do like to use a half inch flat a lot of times when I'm painting and what I like to call a baby brush. So it's just a brush that's a little bit smaller. And I don't know, I may have some other brushes that I'll pull out as I'm going. I'm gonna see what happens today. It's just gonna be fun. My puppy dogs are getting comfortable underneath me. I will be using this toasted marshmallow color to be kind of a uh, rough. I need to rough this up a bit and I'm gonna do that by using some white and black paint. I'm gonna just get started and see what happens. I like the pictures to kind of create themselves. Should I even go this way or should I go that way? I think I'm gonna go this way. I kind of answered that question right off the bat just by looking at it. I was maybe initially thinking sunflowers, but now I'm kind of thinking pumpkins. And maybe I'm gonna use some fun colors. I don't know, we're, let's see what happens, shall we? <laughs> let's get started. How am I gonna set this up? So you can see. We created this beautiful palette wood painting with the pumpkins and what do you think? Please leave me a comment if you like it. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. I personally felt like I should have probably put a word or something like hello fall or welcome. I could have even put it like right on the pumpkin but I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do and so I just decided to leave it off for right now. Is there a word that you would have liked to have seen placed on the sign? If so, let me know. 
And I do really darken my white pumpkins first. That way the white really just shows up better. Overall, I think it turned out really nice. I love the teal pumpkins. I know they're not, they don't really make teal pumpkins, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Especially for being super rushed and trying to get everything done today. Fingers crossed I can get this edited and to you still by today. Don't know what time it is right now, but I think it's like 3.30. So oh, getting there, getting there. If you enjoy what I've been doing today, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I can't believe how many people I already have. And I know it's small, like 56 or so, but I still think that's amazing. It's so cool that you guys have chosen to follow me and see the things that I like to do whether it's painting, DIY, or just random things that are happening. I just appreciate you all so very much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hopefully I'll see you next week. <laughs> okay, bye.